So let's dive in. First one up, the Dallas Cowboys. And last year uh, was not great. Not great at all. This year, win total sits at 9.5. To go over is minus 110. To go under minus 120. To win the division, they got the best odds, plus 125. Or not the best odds, the, the shortest odds, whatever. Plus 125. To win the NFC, they are plus 1,200. To make the playoffs, yes is minus 160. No is plus 130. Their season win total has gone under in seven of the last 11 years and three of the last four. They are almost always overvalued. Uh, 2020, they went under the 10 wins, of course. The Their schedule this year, opponent win percentage, schedule strength, number 31. So next to, next to easiest. And they are projected favorites in nine games so far. Mike Nolan experiment on defense uh, lasted one season. In comes Dan Quinn, former Falcons head coach, former Seattle Seahawks defense coordinator, and was fantastic as the Seahawks defense coordinator. They were 25-7. and seven. He basically created the Legion of Boom. Don't know that he'll be able to recreate that, but we shall see. Uh, the three times that Dallas has had a losing season since 2002, they have averaged 11 wins the next season. Uh, Dak, back from injury, that's what the season basically comes down to. Is he healthy enough to play? Sounds like he is. Looks good at training camp so far. Uh, they need somebody to get the ball out quickly, and hopefully it is Dak because they've got weapons for days. Uh, Michael Parsons, Kelvin Joseph, they could start immediately on defense. Those are uh, their two highest defensive uh, draft picks. The question is, can the defense help out the offense enough for them to be successful this year? What uh, what have you got on Dallas? Do you uh, do you believe in this team at all this year? I I do a little. I am. I mean, it's all hinged upon can Dak stay healthy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't. I'm not a Dan Quinn believer. I'm just not. I think they'll be better than they were last year, but that ain't saying a whole lot. I got this team at ten and seven. I just barely over the over. Yep. I don't know that it would be a bet that I would make if I'm if I'm that close to the number, but uh, but I got them ten and seven. I I, I think they're good enough to make one of the wild cards, especially now that there's an extra wild card. But I, you know, I I've got them uh, at at over nine and a half. I've got them the same thing, ten and seven. Uh, I've got them yes making the playoffs minus one sixty. Um, but let's uh, we'll move off to you know the next the next team. And in the, at the end, we will give out our division winners and, and all that good stuff. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.